Last week on your award-winning super story. These people to kill your dream. Even any of our dreams. Yes. We are not going to allow them. Yes. We have a right to live. Yes. yes. They must pay our money. Exactly. And we are all going to stay here. Yes. We are going to stay here. I have sent my daughter to bring me a pillow and a wrapper. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's right. If yes. it means sleeping here, come rain, come sunshine. Yes. We will be here. That yes. is it. Somebody must hear us. Yes. 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 Somebody, somebody must hear us. Yes. The pensioners have as much right as any category of worker or citizen of this society. I, Barrister Lakata, is standing as a voice and we shall embark on three-day trek around the city. We shall fight the system to a standstill. Enough is enough. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Barrister. Well, I like it when people come out like this to fight a good cause. Dear lovers of Superstory, I greet you all. Omoye, a child like you. The new Superstory serial you're about to watch is indeed a true life story that happened to my niece exactly one year this month. I have lived with it since then. I learned several lessons from her situation. So much that I will be selfish if I do not share with you, fellow Superstory viewers, particularly mothers. The real pillar of every home, I beg you, do not laugh it off as somebody else's problem. Please, do not miss any of the messages this story is passing. God that watches over mankind shall never forsake us, even for a second. Do you pay them pension us waiting day and night every day treated like strangers poor men and women in their land where they serve Sweat of the labor, tired of waiting, pay them for pension while alive. Whoa, 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 every day
is a super story, a life of strife and sorrow. It's a super story, of good food and music. Welcome, my dear. <laughs> hey, Eliza. Yes, Auntie. You are welcome, my Thank dear. Thank you, Auntie. How are you and how is everybody at home? Auntie, I'm fine. Everybody's fine. They extend their greetings. Hey. <laughs> I'm very happy to see you, Eli. <laughs> Thank so you. So tell me, why did you come? Auntie, I have come to stay. I am tired of village life, so I decided to come to the city to see maybe I can get a job or something. I have been telling you all this while to come. You were wasting all your time in the village. Eh? You wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> Auntie, well, I am here now and it's never too late. Nothing will ever be too late for us. <laughs> <laughs> I hope to get a job and possibly a husband to marry. Uh, eh? You know you have come to the right place. Auntie, how is Omoye? Where is she? She, Omoye is fine. She has gone to school. As brilliant as ever, I hmm. suppose. Ah, my daughter. She's always coming out tops in all her subjects. <laughs> you know, she's a blessing to you and uncle. Oh, God. Hmm. By the way, where is uncle? He has gone to the pension office. He has been sleeping there now for some days. Why? My sister. It's a long story. They refused to pay them their pension money. So my husband now decided that he must live there until they give them... Good day, madam. Good day, sir. Are you Mrs. Osage? Yes. I hope all is well. Madam, we want you to come to our station and identify the body of your husband. What? What did you just say? The pensioners' protest went out of hand and we had some casualties. Unfortunately, your husband, Mr. Osagi, was one of them. Don't tell me! Don't tell me that something has happened to my husband! I'm sorry, madam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. They have killed my husband. I'm sorry. Take it easy. Hey! Take it easy. They refused to pay him. Now, they have killed him all. Madam, take it easy. Take it easy. You have to come to the station to identify him. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Take care of her for me. My child! My husband! My child! My husband! Hey! Hey! Oh my yeah! Oh my yeah! My husband! My husband! Widows are feeling everyone's pains, shedding everyone's tears, lonely ending grief. No husband, no one else to care. The bills are piling every day. The children hungry and in need. You mustn't give up all your hope. God of the widows will be there. Nous de irréguliers être ensemble. So, follow very carefully. Je suis. Je suis. Tu es. Tu es. Il ou elle est. Il ou elle est. Nous sommes. Nous sommes. Vous êtes. Vous êtes. Ils ou elles sont. Ils ou elles sont. Good. Now, who can decide this on his or her own without help? Come on. This is very simple. It's not that difficult. I'm not going to call on Omoye. Somebody else, I want somebody else to answer this question, to recite this for me. Who? Good enough. Auntie Lizzie. Hi. Omoye, go back to your seat. I'm sorry. Please, how can I help you? 
I'm sorry to bother you, madam. Is she your mom's sister? No, oh, she's my dad's sister. Then she's her cousin, not your auntie. I call her my auntie because she's very much older than African mentality. Well, whatever. Oh boy, you can go with your auntie. I come and pick up your bag. Let's go. Auntie, what's the matter? Nothing. We'll talk later. Mm -hmm. She's a child, child of struggles. She's a child, a child of pain. She's so young, but so troubled. She'll survive if she holds on. Her life is a book, so many pages. Some will help, but some will hurt. Oh, yeah. Explain it again. How did he die? Did you kill him and you... Are... Uh -uh. I did not kill my husband. I have no reason to kill him. Then what happened? How did he die? I don't know. Hmm? I was not there. They said they were fighting for their pension money. <laughs> oh, this is too much for me. I can't talk much. You did not kill him, but you, 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 uh, you, you, you. Wait, you. wait a minute. She said pension. What pension? They have not paid them for five months. My husband now went to fight for his own money. I tried to dissuade him. Was it not because of you he was fighting for pension money? Huh? Yes! You are never satisfied. You bewitch him to do as you pleased until you have driven him to his grave. Mm. Yes! How can you make him to be fighting for pension money? Can't you work? But I was trading. I was helping out. Shut up! <laughs> what help? You were the one who did not allow him to progress in life. Now you have driven him to an early grave. Ha! Huh? Uncle Peter! Don't call me! Wicked witch! Mm. Oh. I did not do anything. God knows that I am innocent. Look! She's not even sober. No tears! I told you people, she killed him. Leave her. She will soon confess. Please. I didn't do anything. Please, let me mourn my husband in peace. <laughs> have mercy upon me and my daughter. We don't have anything. We don't have anything. We do. Widows, 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 widows are feeling everyone's pains. God give it, God take it. There's time to laugh and time to weep, time to be born and time to die. As a gentle soul is being committed to modern earth, I pray. That God, in his infinite mercy, forgive you your sins. Amen. Amen. Husband is gone, you are alone. Disaster dealt you a blow. As the twinkle now wrinkle, the black hair now graze away. His people came to claim his things. They even said that you're to blame. The world is harsh, but you must know. God of the helpless is there.
is a super story, a life of strife and sorrow. It's a super story, with good food and houses, where the fish drowns or even die of thirst. It's a super story, a life of precious stones and good taste. It's a super story. This is a super story. My sister, good day. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I guess you've come for the usual. Today being Tuesday. <laughs> I haven't found a job yet, so I have to keep looking. Oh, it is necessary. It is necessary. Thank you. I admire the courage in you. Other ladies would have sold their bodies rather than look for a decent job. Eh? Sell what? That is not in my dictionary. I come from a godly home, so I can't do that. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Good. There's hardly anything cheerful on the papers these days. From one disaster to the other. Eh? What is this? What am I seeing? This is good news, oh God, at last. Eh? <laughs> okay, I don't think. Uh, you've got me so quickly. <laughs> I saw something very important. I have to go. Okay. Thank you. Eh? Thank okay, you. okay, no problem. I have just removed it from the fire now. Please, I want it to carry you. Ah, okay, let me put it in the fire. run all the way from the vendor stand. I saw a report on papers today that the pension office has started paying the pensioners their money. However, that's still news now. It's like paying them since last week. Can you imagine? Yeah. Hey, this is good news. Oh. Of what good is this news to me now? So they waited until my husband died before they started paying them. What good is this news? Oh, I'm sorry, madam. I didn't know you lost your husband. It was my husband that died during the pensioners' protest walk. He was the only one that died. Why? And now they have started paying them. Let them go home with their money, bro. Auntie Bay, you still have to go to the pension office to collect the money. Otherwise, you will lose it. Will they give me the money? Of course. Of course. See, you deserve the pension money as his widow. Seeing that he died in protest, you can't even take them to court. Is that so? Uh-huh. If you get a good lawyer, you can sue them. Thank you. Hey. Auntie, what do you say? Forget about what that man has just said now, Bo. I am looking for money to eat. You are talking about court. Is it free of charge? Auntie, you still have to go and collect uncle's pension. It is your right. Yes, mommy. You have to go. I will. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Auntie, right now, in fact, it is still very early. Okay, Lizzie, you have to go with me to answer their questions and all their other paperwork. Okay, Auntie. Okay. Come on here. Huh? Take care of the sales for me. Yes, sir. These small ones, you can sell for 15, 10 naira. But you see these other ones, 20 naira. These big ones, they are all 30, 30 naira last. Corn is very expensive now. Eh? And make sure that... Oh, auntie, let's go okay, now. Let's go. Bye bye, auntie. Bye bye, Omoye. I'll see you soon. Eh? Widows, widows, widows. Widows, widows.
us widows. Widows are feeling everyone's pains, shedding everyone's tears, lonely ending grief, no husband, no one else to care. The bills are piling every day, the children hungry ending need. You mustn't give up all your hope, God of the widows will be there. Black hair now grays away His people came to claim his things They even said that you're to blame The world is harsh but you must know God of the helpless is there Widows, widows, widows What do we do now? Do we talk to now? And to wait here, let me find someone who can at least talk to us, okay? Wait here. Okay. I'll come in. Okay. Thank you. Eh? It is well. It is well. Because of this money, it is well with my soul today. Eh? It is well. It is well. Because of this money, it is well with my... God, I thank you. Eh? <laughs> Pensioners waiting day and night, every day. Treated like strangers. Ah. Old oh, men God. and women. Thank in you. the land where they served through all the fair hikes for minimum because of wage. this money through the retrenchment still the Jeffrey Osage look at your fellow pensioners why didn't you wait you have created a big vacuum, not only in my life, but that of our daughter, Omoye. You know how much she loved you. She hardly talks about your passing away, but I know she feels the pain deep inside. I remember the closeness between you two. The joy and happiness. Even though we were poor, we were happy. It was as if a light came into our life when Omoye was born. After 30 years of marriage. Ah, what a testimony. <laughs> you danced around with the baby in your arms like a little boy who just got his first toy while the others were amused. I couldn't help but think that it is only a person who has waited long for a child that knows the true meaning of the joy of childbirth. From when she took her first step to her first day in school, you saw her as a gift to us. And a gift truly she was because of her intelligence. Her feet, pain in her eyes, her ears are full of bad news. 
You will burn the midnight oil to make sure she does her school work. Hmm? The first three, I want you to underline the verbs in the first three sentences. The two below, I want you to underline the adjectives. Right? Yes. Uh -huh. Adjectives, yes. Yes! Ah, 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 ah. That's my girl, that's my girl. Uh -uh. You didn't make me beat you now. I wanted to beat you. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I knew your dream was to give our daughter the best we couldn't get. She is our only daughter. Auntie. Auntie. Auntie, I've seen the manager. We have to go and see him quickly. They said we are very lucky to meet him today because he's hardly in the office. Is that so? <laughs> yes. And if we finalize everything, who knows, we might get the money today. Hey, I pray so. Let's listen. I pray. Hey. Please accept my condolences for the loss. Thank you. I can assure you that we do everything we can to assist you. Coyote, check for the file of one Mr. Jeffrey Osage. Jeffrey Osage. Uh, yes, a pensioner. Prepare it for claims. It is a case of uh, a diseased. <sighs> Did I hear you say Jeffrey Osage? Yes, sir. I think I've treated that case. Coyote, bring the fire quickly. I've come across this name recently. Yes. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. That is the fire, sir. Aha! I said it. I've seen this name this week. Some people have come to lay claims of uh, Mr. Jeffrey Osage's payment. What? Who? They claim to be the brothers of the deceased. Hey! These people want to kill me. What sort of family am I married into? Eh? How can they come here to claim uncle's pension money without telling his widow? They will know no peace in their lives. They will never have the mercy of God in their lives. Please, they madam. No cursing. No cursing at all. Sorry, sir. No problem. Sir. Yeah? Please. Can we know the names of these people? Okay. I have here one Mr. Peter Osage and uh, Efe Osage. I knew it! I knew that they would be the same people. No wonder they were asking so many questions about the pension. Hey, I should have known. Oh. Oh evil people. Lucky for you, madam. They have not collected the money yet. Hey, thank God. No. Thank God. We asked them to get the death certificate and other relevant documents. So I can leave you to go and settle your domestic issues. Whoever gets the papers, get the money. That's all I can do for you. Thank you very much, sir. Auntie, let's go. They will not succeed, eh? Let's go. Good day Let's go. and good luck. God will surely save me from the hands of the wicked. They want to take away bread from a widow and the fatherless. Huh. They want to claim our inheritance. They will surely eat the result of their deed. <laughs> Hi, 
Ayodi. Sir. Let's defy remain on my table. Yes, sir. You can go. That is why we're here, to fight the cause of uh, the common man. Today you can see that the pension has already been paid. That is as a result of a, a struggle. But what about the casualties as a result of the protest? Was it worth the trouble? Yes, it was. Some of them even lost their lives. Well, that is rather unfortunate. But for every good cause to come to the fore, there are always casualties. Yes. First, we have to get the death certificate. Did you collect it? No. My husband's brothers did. I was so... Oh. I don't even know that there is anything like death certificate. And then that is the end of the road for us. How do we collect it from them? Please, I don't know. Hey, I don't know. Do I know this man? The pensioners have as much right as any category of worker or citizen of this society. I, Barrister Lakata, is standing as a voice and we shall embark on three day trek around the city. We shall fight the system to a standstill. Enough is enough. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Barrister. Well, I like it when people come out like this to fight a good cause. Yeah. I hope he's not just making noise as they usually do. Ah. Romeo Lakata, you will see action. Lizzie, that's him. Which that's man? the man. Which man now? Come, let's go. Come, let's go, please. Auntie, where are we going? Please, come, let's go quickly. Come, come. Which man is that now, Auntie? I will leave you now to go about my business. And that would be? The mission to save humanity from itself, from man's cruelty against man. That is my mission. That is my foundation. Wow, Barrister. That was philosophical. Thank you very much. Thank you for granting us. It is my pleasure. <laughs> Who was that? He is the man that killed Papa Moya. What? How? He was the one that led the protest work that killed my husband. Uh, Auntie, how can you say that? Yes. How can he lead the old people to walk along the streets of the town that is prone to violence and destruction? He is lucky. I did not meet him here. What did you intend to do to him? I would have called him a murderer and disgrace him here in the public. Auntie, the pensioners will not agree with you because it is that protest that led to the payment of their money. Oh, so it is my husband's life that has to pay the price for their salvation. Look at how they have turned me into a widow. My daughter, Fatherless. Who has ever come to help us? Nobody. Who has ever come to plead for us? Nobody. Ah. Auntie, let's go. Rather, they will come and steal from a poor widow. A heartless generation. Auntie, please, let's go. They have no pity for the poor. No pity for the widow. No pity for the fatherless. My God will judge you. 
My God, we surely judge all of them. We do, we do, we do, we do, we do. We do are feeling everyone's pains, shedding everyone's tears. Peter, are you here with me? Of course, yes. <laughs> when the money finally comes, do not say I told you this. I shall remarry. <laughs> <laughs> As for me, a new pumping machine. That is my man. <laughs> I greet you all. Uncle Peter, Uncle Lefosa, it is you two that I have come to see. What is the problem? What do you want here? I have come to collect my husband's death certificate. What? Are you in your right mind? How dare you come here to ask for our brother's death certificate? Tell her. Have you forgotten that you are just a wife? Ask her. I have not forgotten. I want to ask you two a question. Why are you two trying to go behind me to collect my husband's pension money? Answer me. I don't know what the hell you are talking about. Is that so? Then, let us all go to the pension office to see the names of the two people who are trying to collect my husband's pension money. But, but what, what is going on? Ask them. Ask them. What's happening out here? It's a super story, a life of strife and sorrows. It's a super story of good food and houses. Next week on your award-winning super story. Good evening, Mama Moye. Ah, Mama Queen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You look so gaily dressed this night. Are you going to a party? That's okay. No, I'm on night duty at the hospital, but I wish to go early today. Oh, I forget that you will change when you get to work. All right, ma. Bye bye, oh, ma. Good night, my dear. Hey. Auntie, did you see how she's dressed? And painted her face like Indian doll, baby. And the husband allowed her to go out like that. Please. Everyone with his or her own palaver. That's good. Let's go in. Lizzie, I will not allow those people to inherit my daughter's money. I will fight them to the last. Auntie, those people are wicked. They're not even considering their brother's child. That's because she's a girl. She means nothing to them. Uh -huh. A girl child means nothing. Oh. Welcome to Fossville Luxury Hotel. At Fossville Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24 hour power supply, full air condition, free international calls, free time pumping service, and free car battery charge. So, what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fossville Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at the Nirobar Michele off Raja Rasaki Road, Fox Estate, Amuo, or the First Start Legion. For more information or reservation, please call us. 080-75-78-7135 or 080-99-90-0601. You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.forcevhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room, which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Forcevhotel Hotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.